Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Abs. Today I'm going to talk you through an ENT examination in a remote consultation. First of all, with palpation, patients can usually palpate their own neck for tenderness and lumps. They can then show you where it is and tell you if it's unilateral or bilateral. And if the patient's using a mobile phone, you'll need to ask them to put the phone down so they can use both hands to assess for asymmetry. The fever pain score is a useful scoring system to inform the decision to give antibiotics in tonsillitis. You score one point for fever in the last 24 hours, purulent tonsils, attended less than three days since the onset of symptoms, inflamed tonsils, and the absence of cough or coryza. If they score not to one, the recommendation is they don't get any antibiotics unless clinically you think they should. For two to three, it's a delayed script or no script at all for antibiotics. And four to five is a strong recommendation that you do give antibiotics. Ask the patient to take a photo of the back of the throat while saying R and then send you the photo. Or you can ask them to try on the phone whilst you're undertaking the video call. If you can't get a good view of the oropharynx, the scoring system has been amended by the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health to start with a baseline score of two. We all worry about the possibility of missing a quincy in patients presenting with a sore throat. Quincies often develop following bacterial tonsillitis and are more common in males who smoke and who present with unilateral symptoms. To give you some additional confidence in assessing these patients, you can use a Liverpool peritonsillar abscess score to calculate the probability of this being a quincy. A score of 0 to 3 has a negative predictive value of 98%, which is really reassuring that these patients are unlikely to benefit from a referral to ENT. The threshold for referral does depend on whether you can look in the throat or not. So if you can't look in the throat, a score of 4 to 5 would require a referral but that only has a positive predictive value of 60%. If you can look in the throat, the score of six is the threshold, and that has a positive predictive value of 80%. Patients presenting with ear symptoms may be difficult to manage when you can't look into the ear, but you can use the hum test. Now the hum test is where you ask the patient to hum a high pitched tone and tell you which side was louder. This can identify conductive hearing loss, such as that created by otitis media with effusion in the louder ear.